Welcome back guys, and we jump right into the action at Home Mart, which seems to be the first set of missions for the Walking Dead Road to Survival. So, I'm kind of getting the knack of combat here it seems. I dispatched that group of three zombies with no hesitation and no problem whatsoever. And as a result, I have saved some survivors, that's one. Fast trade is strong against tough, but weak, too strong. Fast strong against tough but weak to strong okay, whatever that means this dude over here is fast hmm, they've got no traits okay takes a threat and dr. Stevens didn't do a very good job Carl had to finish it up and look at Barker man he's on fire okay, so battle seems simple enough I like Barker he's now my favorite already all right, wave three. So I saved another survivor there. And we move on to wave three. We've got five zombies this time. That's another one with a fast trait. Wow. Okay, I see what they mean. What's Barker's trait then? What's that blue one? Is he just tough, I guess? Must be to say he couldn't take him out. All right. Uh, Dr. Stevens is pulling his weight. And Carl gets right in there as well, so Barker to finish it up. No! That's alright, Dr. Stevens to the rescue. And we have finished. Mission 1, I guess, of Home Mart? Yes, stage 1 cleared, 3 starred. Yes, I feel really good about myself now. I did very well considering I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't find any characters, but I did get an empty bottle and some berserker powder. Killing these things never is easy. They were people once, like my folks. And my sister. Well, they ain't anymore. They're just threats. Threats that need to be eliminated. All right, so three start stage one. Expected mission rewards. Oh, it's Rick's gun there, isn't there? All right, let's have a look around. Prestige. Play daily and purchase coins and earn prestige points and rewards. Purchase coins. Logging in consecutive days will earn you more points. 50 points to unlock. Additional rewards unlocked at prestige rank 4 and higher. Okay, so this is a daily thing which I'm familiar with with some types of games. But the fact that it mentioned and buy coins. I really don't like how this game is is blatantly advertising to me <laughs> that it wants me to buy stuff non-stop all right there's a lot of cool stuff here though daily prestige five crate that would be a five star tune speed up buildings i guess i no hang on prestige crate in shop oh is it in the shop or do i get it i don't understand I guess the only real way to find out would be A. Oh, look at this prestige level 10. All right. Would be A, if someone would please comment and tell me. Or B, I'll figure it out as I get there, I guess. So I'm prestige rank 1. And my reward is Negan. Yes. Yes, I am a big fan of Negan. He's a 3 star. Looks like his assault is 558. Defense is 547. Health is at 804. And I don't know what the 400 is. Um, deal 375% damage and 50 damage leading king doesn't have any leader skill but his persona is leader which I believe is slot number one and his trade is strong and his default axe Negan with an axe oh man we gotta get this guy a bat hmm. he looks weird I'm, I'm too used to the, um, the TV series token available Okay, you're guaranteed to receive rare characters, but, but this is coins. We get one, I guess, chance for 250 coins. 10 for 2200, okay. It's a bunch of weapons, same concept. These are basic rewards. Okay, I see. And I have two of these. 
Neil, two star. Todd, one star. Um, I don't know if I should be excited about that or not, but hey, free stuff. I'll take it. Ah, excuse me there, I was just sipping down some tea. Oh, what is this? Starter pack. Is this worth getting, guys? I get 330 coins, plus 70 bonus coins, an elite weapon token, three basic tokens, which I think are the tokens I just used. Um, and then a bunch of refills, which I don't need. Ooh, okay, we have chat. Uh, typical gamer chat, I guess. I'm not even black in life. Well, um, is that is that beginner's pack worth getting? I wonder. I might pick it up just for the sake of it. It's called the starter pack. I might pick that one up. We'll see. There's so much more here, though. Thirty day pass, seventy coins, eleven euro. Holy crap! Eight thousand two hundred and fifty coins is a hundred and thirteen euro. That's beyond a joke. 56 euro for 4,000. I mean, seriously, look at the 4,000 coins there. 56 euro. I don't add another 4 euro on there, and I've got a brand new game. I'll pick up Resident Evil 7 on the PS4 or something. That is a ridiculous amount of money to ask for in any mobile game. Uh, I'm suddenly not liking this. I, I really, really hope that this game isn't geared towards, um, I guess the paid side of things i really hope that the free to play model is enough to keep me going and happy because if i start bumping into paywalls i'm just gonna rage quit this game i really 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 hate that business model now some of you out there of course i'm sure are quite happy to pour your money into it and that is good for you but it is not something i like to do i like to pay up front for a game or as i said i'm quite happy with in-app purchases if it um I guess enhances to the experience of the game. And that starter pack is mighty tempting. <laughs> well, it's just like clocking up there, starter pack, just sitting there in the right. Survival road unavailable, okay. And there's also a sale, so it's annoying me. Jason, I'll level with you. It's a dog eat dog world out there. If we want to survive, then we want to survive. Okay, so we're going to find an opponent. This is raids. And I am ranked 4,143. That's interesting. This is someone who's ranked zero. Okay, so this is just a computer. I guess this is back to tutorial. Well, that was easy. If every raid goes like that, I'm going to love this game. I have a feeling it will not. But you get a bunch of reputation, food, and materials. Almost too easy, right? Raid other people's camps and take their stuff. Earn reputation for battles you win. Well, it seems pretty basic. See where you rank amongst other players. If you've defeated, a cease fighter will protect you for a limited time. Trade some coins to get more time. Fair enough. Raids could be fun. Unless, and see, that's another thing I don't like about these games. Unless I'm up against people who pay to win. In which case, I won't stand a chance in hell. So, I hope matchmaking does a better job at that. We found an old outpost not far from here, and thankfully it's filled with something. God damn it, I missed that. We call it the supply depot. It looks like a great place to gain all sorts of blah 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 blah. You can exchange unwanted weapons and characters for supply points, a currency that would allow you to purchase valuable characters. Okay, supply points. I need to find out about that. Store is here to stay, but items refresh refresh bleh, regularly. So keep an eye out. I will do. I will do. What have we got here? Okay, so I'm guessing that's the currency on the top right, and I have zero. Mm -hmm. Two star characters are pricey enough, I guess. I don't understand the currency, though. So I won't judge just yet. Alright. Gear. Used to upgrade. 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 These are all used to upgrade. So these are used to upgrade characters somehow. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Wow. No bad items. And these are items. Which I'm not too sure what these are for, to be quite honest. And the game isn't exactly doing a great job at telling me. And I'm kind of screwed because, as I pointed out, <laughs> um, 
the rule is I'm not allowed to research these things. I have to rely on figuring it out myself or some good Samaritan on the comment section guiding me in the right direction. Sometimes you need an extra edge in battle. Battle items can be used. Okay. We're going to build a workshop. Get us some battle items. Turn to grab battle items. Okay, so we do a bit of research on HP. Refresh, replenish, replenish. Skip. I don't want to skip. Okay, it didn't take a coin. It seems it's just a tutorial again. And then we can craft. So to craft this, it needs 250 food. You can queue up more than one at a time. 20 seconds to craft one. Fair enough. Oh, come on, don't make me go. You're going to make me skip weight again. It really wants to push the fact that I can use coins. Every aspect of the tutorial up until now has forced me to go and skip weight, which costs coins, which cost real money. So nice work. You can use this to heal teammates. Yes, I can. All right, where to go from here? A lot of, I'm guessing you expand your base. You expand Woodbury all the way out there at some point you can upgrade the house to double the capacity but i need a town hall level two hmm that's not the town hall must be this one hq yeah <clears throat> takes a minute i have the material but i'm gonna hold off on the upgrade for now <clears throat> see if i can get everything built up first before I go upgrading. Is that the wrong approach? I don't know. Or should I like, jump ahead and upgrade the town hall each and every time I have the opportunity to do so? Okay, we can put another farm because I don't have an option to build anything else. So we might as well get some produce going. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm guessing this is areas I can expand into. There are no offers available at the moment. I can't get into the museum, so let's have a look at the missions. Oh, there's a bunch of other ones as well, but let's go back to Home Mart. And we will take the second stage of the Home Mart missions. Possible rewards, gear, ingredients, characters, weapons, and or food. Savage tokens you can get with three stars. Jim, it's Jim. Get back or you're dead. No, don't shoot. I got some people hunkered down inside. We haven't seen other people in, well, forever. We need food. You want to trade? I don't know. They don't seem hostile. Viewer's choice. What's the call? Oh, I'm viewer. Okay. I'm going to trust him. Yeah, I'm a nice guy in games, but I have a feeling that The Walking Dead may make me regret that at some point. Seems like we can do the same here. Big mi ah, I fucking knew it. Excuse my language. In a sudden move, Jim presses a knife to Mitchell's throat, draws the blade from ear to ear and tosses him into the ground, his life poured out in a puddle of thick blood. So we are going to battle. Alright, I want to try and get Carl out of there now. My team's highlighted. You'll see more details about them on the right panel. Okay. So, how do I... No. His persona is Peacekeeper. And I thought the left, what I wanted was a leader. This guy's a citizen. Dr. Stevens, who I must look up. Try to remember who he was. And Sandy over there. Well, she's a rebel. I'm not a rebel against the governor. I'm, I'm not sure. You have no fast weapons to equip. Okay. Oh, but I can go buy some, of course. It's tempting, actually. I have the coins. And I don't, I don't expect to be, um, do basic ones too, but why would I do that then? 
for 25 more coins. I don't expect to be wasting my coins on uh, speeding up buildings and whatnot. So I might look into that later for a fast weapon. I'll see how it plays out first. I don't want to make rash decisions, so to speak. Okay, here we go. So, Negan should... Yeah, okay, Negan was a leader. So Negan can take slot one. Coral was stronger than Dr. Stevens, not by much. And they're both fast. I don't know what any of the other stats really are. It's just, I know that Carol's are all, Corals are all higher, except for health. But that's okay. Yeah, the others are two and one stars. So I don't think they're going to be of much use. Okay, I think we have a team now. I'm, I'm much happier with this team than I was last time around. That I can say with absolute certainty. So here we go. We're up against two. Um, I don't know what they are. So let's take them down. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? You're fast. You're fast. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Oh, go Negan. I just wish he had um, his bat, uh, Lucille, but he doesn't. A new character has joined me, a one-star Parker. Don't know who Parker is. I should, it sounds familiar. God damn it. I feel like I wasted a turn there unnecessarily, but okay. Is this really all there is to combat, just half the heads? It has to be, I'm guessing there's more strategy behind it than that and I'm just not picking it up yet. I I know that that lightning symbol means fast. I forget what what fast is weak against though. And I don't know what I have so I should really pay more attention to that at some point. Still I'm kicking ass here. <laughs> Early missions so it's to be expected. I have two rushes up and I've already cleared the stage so I don't get to use them. Three star it. Hoorah. Got some berserker powder, some ethanol, some blood plasma, bandage, and a wrinkled shirt. As well as that one star character, Parker. Okay. Damn, he fucking killed Mitchell. Viewer's choice, it's on you. We shouldn't have trusted him. We all knew the risks outside Woodbury. We came for the supplies. Let's just get them and go. Nobody else has to die. Well, I agree with that. Let's get the frack out of here. Yes, I used the word frack from Battlestar Galactica. Come on, where do we go? I don't want to take on stage three just yet. I'm very, very curious with these items I'm picking up. Currently, no boost from territories. What do you, I don't know what that is. With these items I'm picking up, what do I do with them? Where are they? Can I make use of them? I should really look into building up my town again soon. I don't know, upgrading the crap out of it until I can't anymore because I run out of supplies or should I be focusing on the missions first? It's a lot to take in for a new player. Hmm. This looks kind of fun. Limited time only. Open 10. Wow. It's a lot of money for these. Awful lot. Yeah, I could open 40 for 113 euros <laughs> that's not going to happen that is not going to happen not on their lives I'm sorry but these are just ridiculous prices I mean I would imagine based on a game like this and the gameplay I see how it's starting to build now already you'd make a tidy sum on this with reasonable prices but 113 euro as one of your options here marked as best value who are you kidding I'm sorry but the effort you put into this game as a developer is not that of what of a of a triple a uh, title that you would spend much less on for the entire game Not a, not a design game like this that inevitably becomes repetitive. But nonetheless, each to their own, I guess. There's still quite a bit you can do by the looks of it without any in-app purchases. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Besides that beginner bundle, which I think I'm going to pick up. 
Um, I'm really, really hoping that the game will just cater to my will to uh, do free to play. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Um, I'll jump over to another video. Until then, all the best.